In this video, I'm going to talk about sprite sheets in Tumble High Professional. So what is a sprite sheet? A sprite sheet is a sequence of images that are used to compose an animation. It was the old school way of creating regular animations. You would draw an individual frame and then sync them up for your film or video or video game. So the components of this animation, for, for this example I'm using this cool smoke animation, we've got individual frames that on their own look kind of boring, but if you run them really quickly together, you've got an animation. So I'm borrowing this content from Open Game Art by the author Beast, and I've downloaded a couple different types of this sprite sheet. We've got a sequence of images, we've got 90, and we also have a pre-composed sprite sheet. So this is what people refer to when they say sprite sheet. It's just a single image that when played from the first top left frame down to the bottom right, sort of in this order, you get an animation. And another type of content you can import as a sprite sheet is an actual animated GIF. So we're going to extract each of the individual frames to make a sprite sheet from this as well. So in Hype, how does this look? you click on Elements and then Sprite Sheet and then you go into your format and for this one we've got all of our frames We click the first one, hold down Shift and then click the last one. You could also hit Command A to select all. Now clicking Open brings all of those images into the Sprite Sheet sheet and this sheet shows us what's going to happen. We've got 30 frames per second and because we have this many frames, we've got a three second and one frame duration. If you have any borders, you can adjust the margins. And the sprite spacing actually gives you a little more control. Let's say if we increase this a little bit. That's useful if your uh, sprite sheet is not really a perfect grid. So I'm going to bring this back down to zero. Now when you click insert, it puts in this animation and you see that we have a little line showing where the animation loops. And we have a really smooth animation. If you want to get back into that and edit it, click this. But now I'm going to jump into and insert the different type, which is the pre-composed sprite sheet. I'm going back to the desktop. I'm going to grab this set of 30 frames. And since it can't really read the content, I'm going to adjust this to 5x6, which is the actual layout. So we have the default here of 30, but I'm going to bring this down to 10 just to show you how that looks. We also have a looping duration, and here's how this type looks. You can see with a slower frame rate, it's not as smooth, but maybe this is a, an effect you want. Now for the final type of content, I'm going to make a new scene. Going back into Elements and Sprite Sheet and grabbing that GIF from the desktop. Now when you import this, it's going to extract each of the frames of your animated GIF and give you an estimate of the frame rate. Now clicking Insert, of course you can resize these. Clicking Insert gives you this animated GIF and now you have total control over any pre-existing animated GIF you've created. You can do things like reverse them in the Sprite Sheet Action Panel. So now we can see this in reverse and have the sort of sun movement going upwards. And of course when you preview this in your browser and compare it to the original, it's moving in the opposite direction. So a quick note about how this looks when you export. I'm going to put these all in my desktop, call it Sprite. Now when I view what Hype generates, it actually converts that animated GIF into separate frames. So here are the individual frames that are being shown. And for this PNG, the 30 frames, it's actually importing the image itself. And for the last image, it's creating separate frames of the file 
and showing them in a sequence. But for each of these different sprite sheets, we only have a single image. When you're importing your elements, it's important to get your file size really low. So if you're only showing the sprite sheet at about maybe 100 by 100, this size is a little too big. So in preview, you can go to Tools, Adjust Size, get this down to 1080, and re-import this. So that's Sprite Sheets in Tumblehype 4. If you have any questions as you get going with this, let us know in the comments below.